Today I am bringing you along and creating some gorgeous party decor as well as some DIY Dollar Tree party hacks that you are going to love. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm going to be putting all of these together and sharing with you all the incredible birthday table or decor that I was able to make for my daughter's sixth birthday as well as some incredible personalized gifts that she absolutely loved. So today we are using a lot of Dollar Tree items alongside my Cricut. A huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video, but we are going to be making making some really awesome stuff that you don't want to miss. Please give me a big thumbs up and let's get started. First, we are grabbing some Dollar Tree fabric. Now, she didn't ask for anything specific, just like unicorns and rainbows. Um, so the point of this was just kind of use like coordinating colors, but I wanted to do my first hack, um, my favorite hack of all time, and that is to actually Mod Podge some fabric on the back of these glass plates. You can find these glass plates at Dollar Tree, and it's just a great way to get a custom look for a very inexpensive budget. And I've done this for like fall and Christmas and the different seasons, but you can do this for your parties too. I love that gold unicorn fabric that came from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just using some rainbow fabric for the smaller plates. And, and this is what's going to create my cake stand. So you put the Mod Podge on there, lay down the fabric, kind of push it onto the plate, let that completely dry before adding a second coat of Mod Podge, letting that completely dry. And then you can attach it to any type of stand I just spray painted a candlestick holder um, this gold color and then you can put your cake on there but it is so gorgeous I love all of these extra details and this is so easy to put together for just a couple of bucks It is absolutely mind-blowing that you can pick up these treat boxes from Dollar Tree or Walmart for around the same price, but these cake boxes with the window, and you can make these over to into a gorgeous like centerpiece or decor, table decor. You could set this up on the ground um, for the entryway, but a really, really cute idea is to pick up as many cake boxes as you have letters of the name or the person's name of the birthday party. I am doing this for my daughter, Sadie, so I typed her name out on Cricut Design Space and then changing the font to be like some big bold letters. I am cutting this out with some pink vinyl and then I'm just sticking that right on these. Now you could use stickers or paint it on there if you'd like but the Cricut makes it really easy so I'm putting those on there. I did end up using five boxes for Sadie's name. I did turn them sideways and then after you get all the letters attached you'll want to open these up, tape them open so nothing's going to collapse and then I'm going to be filling them full of tissue paper. Now I have seen online people make similar things to this using tiny little balloons. I didn't want to blow up a bunch of balloons, so I thought the tissue paper was a great way to add in that pop of color, but be very quick and easy. Next up, we are using some party streamers. Now they are $1.25 at Dollar Tree, or you can head over to Walmart and find them for just a buck. So I grabbed them there. I also like the colors a little bit better. They had like a better choice of the teal. Um, but these are the three colors that I'm going to be using. And I also picked up just some regular like balloon streamers um, or a string that you can attach it to. Anything would work but you want about 16 inches of length on these and I'm just folding it over, but I will cut the edges so they're not folded. And then you want to like half it over the ribbon. So you're going to create like this fun tassel. This is gonna create like a really gorgeous banner and super easy. It's gonna look so much nicer than the ones that you purchase at the store. If you purchase like a cheap uh, tassel banner when you open it up, it has like a ton of space in between each tassel and I feel like it's just not the best quality. So you have full control over the colors and how full that you want this and this works so great. So you half it over the string and then tie a little piece of ribbon so it gathers at the top and then you're going to cut it into strips now the first one I just cut it one time but you kind of want to get it to cut twice so it's just however wide or small that you want um, your tassels to be but the blue one I did go ahead and cut it a couple of times and it just made some smaller little tassels and then I bunched it up and it looks so full and pretty I love this I could see myself making this for so many like graduation parties or baby showers but this is such a fun hack to get your own custom banner
It's not a party without treats and you need a really neat way, convenient way too, to house these treats in like one area. So if you pick up some of Dollar Tree's cake plates and put a candle holder in between them, just easily hot glue them. I don't like to use a lot of E6000 or anything here, just simple hot glue. So it's, I'm not worried about food contamination or anything. Um, and then some of these Dollar Tree, like they're kind of like paper plates, but they're plastic plates, but you get like a six pack. This is so inexpensive. I put the candlestick upside down so I have more space at the bottom, but this is a perfect way to display your treats. You can fill up the bottom and make like your own DIY tiered tray, but party style, they have so many colorful plates so you can always match your party theme, but how cute is this? And you can definitely dress these up. Okay, so my mind was blown whenever I figured this out. You can pick up very inexpensive shirts anywhere, any craft store, uh, Walmart, but Dollar Tree has them out every once in a while. And the hack here is to find an image that could be colored with a marker. So I purchased some fabric markers that I knew I could put at the party or gift with these shirts, but this unicorn was a perfect image um, that could be colored and would go perfect and coordinate with the party. But all I did was cut it out of my Cricut, weeded the excess out. I'm ironing it on these shirts and then going to give the little kids that come to the party um, markers that they can color these in their self. They had so much fun. I have purchased these type of shirts from the store before and they've been super pricey. So this is a fun and expensive way that I can absolutely make by myself. And once again, they just had so much fun. And what little kid doesn't want to wear a shirt that they got to customize by themselves? Cricut makes it so easy to take all of my DIY party decor to the next level. I'm able to customize all of my party decor and make unique gifts that are sure to be loved. It is so special to me to personalize gifts whenever I am giving someone something special. So I'm able to cut out someone's name, give them an item with like a special quote on it. You can like cut out song lyrics. I love the iron-ons. So many possibilities with Cricut and you can even make like your own kids special gifts. I'll be sharing it later on in the video. But if you're unfamiliar with Cricut, Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with a software called Design Space that comes free whenever you purchase your machine. And this is where you can create the project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will be what is sending it to your Cricut cutting machine. I love how much you're able to work from home. So like I needed a cake topper for my daughter's birthday party. So I just went to my Cricut machine and just put one together with some scrap paper that I had laying around. It's really going to dress up my daughter's birthday cake and add so much detail. If you've never owned a Cricut, let me slow down on this next project and share with you exactly how I put it together. So Dollar Tree sells this apron and it says do not iron on the tag, but I was super careful with it and tried not to leave the iron on there very long. But to make this, I'm using my Cricut Maker 3. I love this machine. So many things you can do with it. And I'm using Cricut Design Space with this. So I open up my Cricut Design Space. I go to Canvas and I want to add an image. So they make it super easy by having all of these already pre-made images. And you can actually share the images that you create with every other Cricut creator and this is so amazing it makes it super simple I typed in create and went through all of these awesome images but I found one it was super colorful but I wanted to make this project really easy especially if I was going to make multiple ones so I just uh, drew a little box over it with my finger and hit weld and that's gonna attach it all together now remember whenever you are ironing on anything you want to hit that mirror button and that's going to print it out backwards um, because of the type of material whenever you iron it on it's going to look perfect so for this i'm using some iron on vinyl now the awesome thing about the cricut maker 3 is that it does uh, use smart vinyl which does not have to have a mat 
or you can use some items that you already have on hand, attach it on a mat and throw it in there. So either way, it works. After I got it quickly cut out with the Cricut Maker 3, I am using my weeding tool to get all of the excess um, vinyl away from the image. And then you can even hold this up to the light to make sure that you have all of the little pieces weeded out because once you iron them on, it's really difficult if you even can, can get those removed. So make sure that you do get all of the pieces weeded out. And then I am heating up my area, my surface area, just a tiny bit. Like I say, trying to be super careful with this um, apron fabric and then pressing this down with my Cricut Easy Press or you could use any type of iron. But got this completely pressed down and this is such a great gift idea for my daughter. She's very artistic and loves any type of art supplies. Be sure to go check the link down below underneath this video and go compare the different Cricut machines and pick yourself up one today. You definitely want to get a Cricut machine before the upcoming fall and Christmas season. It's just a great way to get to make custom gifts, personalize everything, and just like up your crafting game. Once you own one, it is super hard to go without it. Um, so that link will be down in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. Okay, so we have lots of more party hack DIYs coming up, so let's get back into it. Recently, one of my favorite Dollar Trees just got the plus section. I was super excited. I picked up these huge canvases. It's a two pack for five bucks. This thing is huge. This is going to be such a game changer to have bigger um, pieces to make over. So for this, I'm using one of them and then using a couple of different um, spray paint colors. I am just lightly going over this. I'm going to try to make it a little bit like look like tie dye and then I barely spritz it at the end. So it gets kind of like those paint dots. I feel like this was such a cool uh, effect. It looked really neat. It really did look like tie-dye. So I did a couple of soft colors for the background. I went with like a teal and a purple. And then I had this hot pink vinyl that I wanted to put the letters on. And I have three daughters. So I feel like this, it, this sign is going to get so much use. Um, I do want to Mod Podge over it to make sure it's going to last for years and years. But this is so gorgeous. And it's so like generic. It doesn't have like a princess or anything on it so it's going to last for so many parties and I can just mix it in and incor incorporate it because my girls are always crazy about pink so I got that um, put down and I feel like it was the perfect sign that I'll be able to hang up on the wall and just make like a bigger impact so I love those big canvases If you need some more decor for your table, especially some that's like a little bit higher to fill in your table or blank space, you can pick up a couple of mason jars. I found these like really fun, like bigger jars at Dollar Tree. And I'm mixing in some of this decorative grass um, or it's called shred at Dollar Tree, but it always reminds me of Easter grass. And then I put in some Reese cups just to let that gold pop in there. And then putting some decorative straws down in there. Um, I was going to cut out some stars with my Cricut and attach it. I did find these Dollar Tree wands and they had these little unicorns so I thought this was perfect. I ended up dressing up the stick by sticking it down inside one of those straws that just worked out for me. Cut it down and then cut out some blue stars. So I love how I am able to just use any cardstock that I have, cut out the shapes that I want and that's going to keep adding all of these different colors that I'm trying to incorporate in it and not just like overdo the pink constantly which my girls love pink and this is like a lot of pink but definitely um, just pick it at whatever colors that you would like to host in your party but these turned out really adorable and they're going to fill in a lot of the blank space you can't have a party without some party favors. So I thought these little buckets were perfect. Using my Cricut, I cut out the names of my guests. I wanted to put it on the front. This time I'm using some Smart Vinyl. I love how you don't have to have the mat with this machine. Just easily throw it in there. I just typed out their names. I changed the font to something a little bit bigger. I feel like the bigger font definitely transfers a lot easier. And then cut these out all in the same color and put them on these little buckets. And then it's not even a guessing game whenever they show up they can already see their name and just pull off which bucket belongs to them but I feel like these ones with the little white at the bottom it looks so cute putting their name um, on the middle of that just really really cute and then I filled it up with some fun little prizes
If you're needing any gift ideas or party favors, Dollar Tree has tons of stuff in like the girly like hair section. I picked up a brush and a little loofah. I put a sucker in there as well as a bath bomb and these are perfect. My girls were already dying for them before the party, but I also put some little gift bags behind it so that whenever they do pick up their little party favor, they can set it down in that bag to easily take it home. Next up, I wanted to share with you an easy hack to really dress up any wall space. My house, all of my walls are gray. It's kind of bland for a party. So to really dress this up and give it a really fun background, I'm using three different color tablecloths. For this one, I went with a hot pink, a lighter pink, as well as a white. And then I'm cutting this in strips. So it ended up looking like this. I didn't get it 100% perfect. Um, this was my first time trying this, but next time just try to make sure your cuts are a little bit more even. But it easily worked out. I covered up the top with some balloons. But the trick to this is to actually braid these three tablecloths together, just a few little braids and let the rest of it hang down and make sure you untangle it. And then this really fills in the space. It looks so gorgeous whenever I decorate around it. And I just love this. I'll definitely be doing this from here on out at every birthday. It really made such a huge impact. I loved it. But I put my little party favors out as well as my cakes and my tiered trays. I think everything looks so gorgeous put together. So detailed and customized using my Cricut. I absolutely love this. I wish everyone could just see my little girl's face whenever she got to finally see her little birthday table put together and um, they always have so much fun getting to see their cake for the first time I try to keep things a surprise but I absolutely loved how everything turned out Be sure to share down in the comments below like what other type of party hacks or party ideas or what do you grab from Dollar Tree when, whenever you are hosting a party. Be sure to put that down in the comments for everyone down below. Also be sure to go click that Cricut link. It's underneath this video. You can compare machines, figure out which one is right for you. You're never going to be able to live without it once you try it. It is a game changer. Definitely ups your crafting game. I use it all over my house for organizing decor purposes, party decor, just regular home decor, absolutely everything. So be sure to go check it out and grab one for yourself. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these hacks was your favorite. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.